Greetings, everyone, and welcome back to Let's Play Modded Oblivion. I am your host, Neil, and with me today is a giant can of Red Bull! Yes! I haven't had one of these in a long time. That soothes the fire. As you can see, we're, we are in the dark depths of the sub-basement. Isn't that right, Miku? Because as you might remember from the fucking cliffhanger, someone has been killed! And therefore, we are probably gonna investigate. In the safe house, as it is called, apparently. Uh, I think it's also just another name for the Daraloth house, as I like to call it. Wasn't Emmer Daraloth the guy who stole the... what the fuck? Vamon Voris. You have one of those very fancy pants that I've been seeing around. I haven't checked them out personally, but... It looks like someone has been murdered, Miku. This goes beyond the borders of th mere thievery. This is plain murder. Unacceptable. My god. A message from the Black Dagger Society. I'm gonna take his fancy pants and read the damn message. It might have useful information from our attackers. Message, message, message. It's a message. Let's have a look. Oh. I hope you now realize the severity of your situation. No, my god. I thought we were just thieves, not murderers. I just got out of the Dark Brotherhood business. Well, I didn't get out of it, but I just kind of got finished with it. Uh, yeah, you made that point pretty clear. Good day for now. That's such a faggish move. Miku! They're gonna kill us off one by one! What are we gonna do? I don't know! I guess we'll have to take the fight to the Black Dagger Society and murder those bastards. They've crossed the line. Now they will face the wrath of the Grey Fox, also known as Nonake, and her awesome companion Mikuru. Let us go to Armand Christoph and tell him about this treachery. Or maybe I shouldn't go and tell him. Maybe I should just follow the red arrow and see where my destiny takes me. I probably should have read my quest log. Oh, I have to speak with Armand. I was right all along? Good morning. Calm your shit! Let's go to Armand. It's daytime, so I guess he'll be snoozing at home. Typical. Fuck. Get up, bitch! It's good to see you. These are dark days, my friend. But first, what's the what's the word on the street? If there's a complaint about a merchant. Your mom. Someone's been murdered. I know. We all know those cowardly dogs need to be stopped. Damn right, and I'm gonna do it because I'm the Grey Fox. I will defeat the Black Dagger Society. While my agents and I look f What? We got bigger problems now. We need to pull all our money. We just take the Thieves Guild and push it away! What? I didn't read that. Revisiting old victims. No more Monopoly. What do you mean, revisiting old victims? Haven't I fucking made people suffer enough? Stealing valuable things? Robbing people of their money? Destroying their dreams? To avenge Vaemon. I didn't even know who he was! Working at... Uh, that's fucking exciting. But until then, I will not go to Hercene's Shrine, because that's bullshit. I will go to Big Tony's Deli. I'm getting so sick of pizza, you guys. I think I had some pizza yesterday, actually. And it was fucking cold! Because I was too lazy to warm it up. I need contracts! Mail. You got mail, bitch. Here's the next one. 
I shouldn't be doing this shit. I should be taking the fight to the Black Dagger Society. Oh my god, I don't have time for this nonsense. But fine, we'll do another contract. But make it snappy. All right then, let's have a look. <laughs> what was it called? <laughs> I think it was a contract something. Uh, yeah, it's over there. The next client wants you to speak with what? An estate near the Orange Road. Why does Armand Kristoff give his letters to Tony so Tony can give them to the Gray Fox himself? I thought Armand was a pretty big guy in the guild, so. Should give that shit to me personally. Alright, the Orange Road. Now, where is that again? I think it's like over there. Bleaker's Way. Joanna's Cabin. Who has a house up north? Oh, it's over there. Near the ruins of Miranda! Well, Miku, it looks like we're going to the ruins of Miranda. Because it's the closest thing to this estate. Now, this guy wants some painting. Oh my god! What the fuck is that? Get him, Miku! Nice one, Miku. I forgot how good you were with that sword. But there's more! Oh, I missed like a dumbass. But I got him. Is my bow still enchanted? I can't remember. Let's go to the estate. It's just behind the ruins, it seems. Let's go invisible. You never know what might lurk in the woods. Wolves! Another crazy bullshit. Ha <laughs> ha! Let's go! Epic adventure style! Oh my god, I found the estate! I feel so happy now. Bambi! Die, Bambi! You motherfucker! You ruined my life, you bitch! Fuck you! That's a gay house. It's a Chadenol house. So I break in and kill everyone and leave the place, right? And torch the building. Because this house is faggish. Luigi! Mario and Luigi! What are you doing in Cyrodiil? Man, first it's pizza as a big Tony, and now it's fucking Luigi. The warrior of speed? I remember this guy. I stole that painting. Oh, the nostalgia! Hey, look, it's a door that leads nowhere. Luigi, you are wearing a gay dress. You must be from the guild. It is good to see you. Armand speaks very highly of you. How do you like my Italian accent, you guys? You have a contract for me, Luigi? Hey, where's Mario? <laughs> yeah, whatever. As you can see, I am something of an art collector. I collect various paintings. I'm most interested in the works of Antonio Scarpacci. <laughs> this guy is hilarious. The medium of oil paint and was famous for creating beautiful portraits of great warriors. Like Bruce Lee. He created 12 of them before he died. I must have the whole set. Please tell me you already have 11 of them. You may not realize it, but we have worked together in the past. Yes, I noticed the painting, you bitch. Of Bruce Lee, I think. I don't remember if it is. The remaining 11 were sold at auction recently. Here, I obtained a page of the auction's logbook. I will pay you well for each painting. Eh, huh, what? You already have one painting and I have to... The art of theft and the theft of art. Your mom's a theft of art. <sighs> Do you have another copy of the list? Yes, of course. Oh, that's not necessary? Oh, he doesn't have a fucking Italian accent. So I did that all for fucking no reason. Miku, I made an ass out of myself for no reason. Now I know what it's like to be you. I'm so sorry, I never understood your pain. It seems like you're a bit of a painter yourself. Mr. Luigi. You're a big bitch. That's what you are, Mr. Luigi. Oh, you should go and uh, go fuck yourself. Has anyone seen that Italian man goes to Malta? I wanna fuck on the table. 
I wanna shit to my bed! <laughs> Sorry. You should check that out, it's funny! Anyway. Luigi wants me to steal 11 more paintings for him. Uh, the document will tell me where to find him. Apparently Nonoke okay, has an Italian accent as well at this time. I am going to steal a paintings for Super Mario 3D Land. Which is a great game, by the way. <laughs> oh, I don't have to read the freaking list. Oh my god, so many paintings that I have to steal! I will start with the paintings in the Imperial City, which is two, apparently. Miku, we're gonna steal 11 paintings! 11! In Japanese, that is... Juichi! Hey! I know! Whatever. Ulen Athram's house. Let's go steal the painting from Ulen Athram! Come on, Miku. Oh my god! It was open like less than a millisecond ago, and then all of a sudden it was not. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god! That was so close. Where's the damn painting? What kind of painting am I looking for anyway? I don't know! <sighs> Crying out loud. Maybe I should just check the damn list. So I can be sure that this is the place. Uh, oh god, oh god. Am I gonna like lose my invisibility if I read the list? Could be. What was it called? Like, list? List, list, list. No. Uh, maybe something with oil paintings? Yeah, yeah. There it is. Uh, Ulan Athram, a value of 21,000. Hot diggity daffodil. It might be in the basement. It wouldn't be the first time. Although I would suspect it's in his bedroom. Alright, Miku, don't fuck this up now. He does have quite a few paintings. But does he have the painting that I'm looking for? Time will tell. Stay close to me, Miku. We're in enemy territory now. And we're trying to steal? I can't remember the name of the painting. I think it's the warrior... The skilled fighter... I don't know. The big dick, you know. Let's go invisible, Miku. Because we're getting serious. Somebody messed up the house. Unforgivable. Hard. I think this door is hard. It's not here. I'm stealing a painting. Oh god. My illusion skill increased! I should rest and meditate on what I've learned. Man, I haven't leveled up in a million episodes. Ha! You're asleep, faggot. <laughs> oh, that is so gay. Get out of here. I got the first painting. Ah! Invisible! Go, quick! We're going to be spotted, Miku! Let's get out of here! And rest back at headquarters. We got the first painting of the 11 paintings by... What was it? Antonio Scarpacci! Something like that. How do you like Nonoke's boots? I think they're quite dashing. Let's get some rest. Cause y'all wanna level up, bitches! At Big Tony's Deli. I'm not gonna sleep at Iron Mothy, cause I don't wanna! Just to tend the more paintings to go. Miku. Stay close, will ya? Fuck's sake. It's an epic battle in the tutorial dungeon. That's what I made of that. The door is closed! This door is never closed. Big Tony, you disappoint me. 
I hate how I always have to slide open the crate and it doesn't go quick enough. And then I get mad. Make some room, bitches! Because I'm going to sleep. I wonder what level I am now. I'm going to guess... 40... No, not speed. My speed is good enough. I don't want to get my speed too high or I'm going to dart around the screen like no tomorrow. And I already dart around the screen like no tomorrow. 43. I thought 45. I was wrong! But now what am I going to do, Mr. Estefan or Escobar? I don't remember how I named you all those episodes ago. It was a cold summer morning. Yes, a cold summer morning. Mornings are never hot. At least not in Belgium. Anyway, let me check the time. 15 minutes, huh? Well, in that case, I'm going to leave it here because it's pretty late and I'm tired. I had a long day in school today. School's been wearing me out lately, so... And looking at this night setting here in Cyrodiil just makes me want to go to bed. You have the hand Why is the Countess walking around late at night on her own? Go on. That doesn't seem safe. Leave me alone. Especially when there's like two friggin' assassins like me and Miku here. We could just fucking kill this bitch! And nobody will ever know, not even Big Tony! Anyway, I'm getting pretty tired, so I'm gonna leave it here. Sorry if this episode's a little short with my Italian accent, but I'm going to bed now. A good night to my YouTube fans. Yeah, see you guys later. Ciao.